Welcome to my channel, I Declare War. Today I was on YouTube, and usually when I go onto YouTube, I'll see a list of recommended videos. And I saw one video that caught my eye. The title of the video demanded my immediate attention. And that video was titled, why black people make good slaves. Why black people make good slaves. <laughs> that title alone just blew my mind. <laughs> that title alone just made the blood in my body begin to boil. So I calmed myself down for a second. And I took a few seconds to start watching the video. And I'm going to show you a couple of clips of the video, and then I'll come back with my commentary. So check out this video. Now, when you look at black people, you look at the African-American people, what you will see are a people that of all the people on the planet have been the easiest people in time and antiquity to enslave. Nobody, no other people, while they have been enslavement, there have been nation capturing nations. When America came here and took, nobody has made a good a slave as black people. The ones on the dark continent of Africa. Nobody on the planet Earth has ever been as willing a slave as the so-called black man, the so-called African-American man. Nobody Jackson is not a man. Al Sharpton is not a man. Black leaders, T.D. Jakes is not a man. Barack Hussein Obama is not a man. They're slaves. They still have the slave mentality. Louis Farrakhan is not a man. The place the witch doctors in Africa sold them to the white man and they refuse to acknowledge it to this very day. Black people still tell that Kunti Kinti lie that white people came and threw a net on them and caught them one by one in the jungle and put 5,000 of them on a ship at one time. It didn't happen that way, it's a lie, but black people fail to recognize it. They sold the Jesse Jacksons, the Al Sharptons, the Barack Hussein Obamas sold black babies into slavery An old video. It was done in 2009. But again, as I said, you know, I came across it today and it demanded my attention because I have never heard such an absurd thing being uttered by a black man ever in my life. I've never heard anything so ridiculous and outrageous as that the notion that we are good slaves, the, the suggestion that we are naturally docile people. See, this guy is so ignorant, he doesn't even realize that all he is doing is perpetuating the lie and the myth of white supremacy. That's what we were taught for years. That's what people taught for years. They taught that notion that we were good slaves in order to justify slavery, in order to rationalize slavery. Look it up. Do your research. It's obvious. They used that to rationalize what they were doing, to rationalize their brutality against the African, to rationalize beating the African to rationalize burning the African, to rationalize raping the African, to preserve that peculiar institution of slavery. And it's a damn shame that you got some old buck dancing, tap dancing sellout like this guy, Dr. Manning, perpetuating a lie. Anyone who studied history knows that the African has a long tradition of resistance. 
We didn't voluntarily walk onto those slave ships. We didn't volunteer to be nobody's damn slaves. We fought against slavery. We fought against oppression. We fought against colonialism. We have a long history of resistance. Anyone who's familiar with history knows this. Nat Turner wasn't no good slave when he waged war against the oppressor and cut him down with the edge of his blade? Mark Denmark Vesey wasn't a good slave when he plotted a rebellion against the slave master? We have a long history of resistance. And I'm going to provide a link to an article that I saw in the Atlanta Star outlining 15 uprisings that many people aren't familiar with. This long tradition of resistance destroys that lie that that idiot uttered in his video. We have always resisted oppression. It is man's nature to be free. Man has a natural desire to be free, and man will do what is necessary to obtain his freedom. Our struggle, our resistance started from the moment that that white man stepped foot on our continent. And it continues today. We rose up against the slave masters. It's documented. And that idiot should know this. And if anyone has read the book entitled The Destruction of Black Civilization, they know about our history of greatness. We are not no natural slaves. We're not good slaves. We're the builders of human civilization. We're the cream of the planet Earth. Before the black man, there was no civilization. Before the black man, there was no man. We're the original man. We're not no damn slaves. We're not no good slaves. Dr. Manning is the damn slave, the damn fool. He's the person that Carter G. Woodson talked about when he talked about the miseducation of the Negro. That fool, Dr. Manning, is miseducated. He's miseducated to get on here and say that we're good slaves. Carter G. Woodson talked about the miseducated person who accepts his condition. The uneducated person who embraces the ideology of his oppressor. The one who accepts and embraces inferiority. The one who, when there's no back door, they'll make a back door for themselves. That's Dr. Manning, another old sellout Uncle Tom damn Sambo here on YouTube. I wonder how anyone could follow this man. It's a damn shame. A damn shame. All right, let me calm myself down. There's some other points in his video that I want to address. One thing that he says, he says that all these black leaders are not men. He goes in on Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, and Farrakhan. And he says that they are not men, that they are slaves, that they are teaching dependency. How can this clown, this YouTube idiot, say that about those two great men, those three great men that have a long history of leadership in our community. Yes, they are flawed people. All of us are flawed. All of us have our faults. But you have to recognize the work that they have done in the community. You have to recognize their active involvement in our struggle as a people. No one has that kind of history, especially not this Dr. Manning. What has he done for black people 
besides talk nonsense on YouTube. He hasn't done anything. Farrakhan, you know, despite his flaws, has a history in the black community. A history that's documented over decades. And the same is true for Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. So this man is in no position to criticize those brothers. Also in his video, he talks about basically how Africans were responsible for slavery. And I'm going to provide a link to this video, which will um, include an article from the scholar Malefi Asante. And he points out how Africans were not the primary cause of slavery that Africans weren't equal uh, participants in the enslavement of African people. He points out how basically that notion is a false notion that is used to absolve white people of their guilt and their involvement in the slave trade. So I recommend that you check out that article and I'll include a link again in the description box to this video. But wait, there's more. Listen to this nonsense. Black people need to repent. I need to stand up in mass and say, thank God for the white America. Thank God that he's allowed you even in slavery. You're brought here. And you got a great chance to live in the greatest nation on the planet. You need to start there. And you did not call me an Uncle Tom or an Uncle Ruckus or a porch monkey because I'm telling you the truth. You're never going to get anywhere until you start praising God for being here in America. Oh, well, otherwise, we'll send you down to Haiti or send you over there to Zimbabwe that used to be Rhodesia, which used to be a great nation. I mean, seriously, did y'all hear that nonsense? This guy is basically, he's a retarded Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, I know he said don't call him Uncle Ruckus, but that's exactly what the hell he is. A damn retarded Uncle Ruckus damn sellout. And I really should apologize to retarded people because they shouldn't even be associated with this idiot. This guy basically was saying, thank God for the white man. Thank God for the white man for blessing us with slavery. Thank God for that white man bringing us here to America to work in his cotton fields. Thank God for the white man. And then he went in to talk about how, went on to talk about how uh, Zimbabwe was a great country when it was under the rule of that no good white man. Just like Uncle Tom. He loves the white man, even though the white man hasn't done a damn thing for him. He loves the white man, but he hates his own black self. Just another damn YouTube Uncle Ruckus.